Hi everybody, naturalist Linda here and Dottie. And welcome to the Westwoods at this special time of year. We're happy to bring you this little video clip on one of our favorite programs called Amphibian Awakening. And I think I'll turn it over to Dottie who's going to talk to you about vernal pools. Springtime pools are call, also called vernal pools. And this is the time of year that we see some of the amphibians, the salamanders and frogs, that we never see the rest of the year. And it's because they're all heading, migrating to these vernal pools to have their courtship and springtime rituals. And so you may hear the frogs, you may not hear the salamanders, but you may see them. But most people aren't out when they're out and about. It's on a warm, rainy night that they're migrating. And it's an adventure that you may want to try some warm, rainy night. So Dottie's holding two of two species of frogs. These are the two that come out the earliest in the springtime, the wood frog and the little spring peeper. Um, actually, our vernal pool is kind of piping up right now with, with um, frog song. The wood frog sounds like a bunch of quacking ducks, and of course the little peepers are probably what's coming through even more distinctly than that. But you can enjoy the size difference between the two the spring peeper, the little frog with the big, big voice. So we always look forward to seeing them. If you pass by any wetland in Joga County in early spring, you're gonna hear those peepers, or possibly the wood frogs too. So anyway, um, the wood frog that Dottie's holding is a male. It's got that cute little black mask behind the eye. The spring peeper has a little X on its back. Maybe you can tilt it down a little bit. See that little X there on the back? and. Um, this is their time of year. Uh, males and females will be found together in the pool. In fact, we've got some egg masses of uh, wood frogs here. I'm going to hold them up and uh, let Dottie talk about them. So, how in the world did this frog, a frog this size, produce an egg mass that size? Well, the females release the eggs, the males fertilize them, and the egg then absorb, or the egg mass then absorbs water, and just like a package of jello, gets to be almost the size of a softball. So, that is one egg mass from one frog. And if you look in the vernal pools right now, there are mats of these egg masses. What's going to happen to them? Well, by the end of June, they will be little froglets heading out into the woods, that's by the time that the pool starts to dry out and they have to escape from their watery nursery out into the woods. So, shall we see what else we can find in good, the vernal pool? Good plan, Linda. Yeah. Well, look at what we have here. These are spotted salamanders. We were checking our live traps this morning and came up with about 10 of them. This is our state amphibian, in case you didn't know. And uh, springtime is a time, the annual rite of spring, where the salamanders migrate back into the pools to do their courtship. And um, you may hear the frogs, but you're not going to hear the salamanders. Their time is to the, at the pools is silent. But the guys are doing a little dance over their area to attract the females. So these guys are the dancers, whereas the frogs are the ones that you hear are the singers, singers yes. right? Yeah. All kinds of stuff going on in those pools. So you'll never see these out and about in the forest because they're referred to as mole salamanders. There are the salamanders that are large in size, as you can see by comparison to my hand size. Sorry. And they have lungs, which allows them to get a much larger body size, even though they still are absorbing oxygen through their skin, they can breathe with lungs. Okay, so these, these amphibians, these salamanders, are only in the pools for a very short time, and once they do their little dance, they're going to crawl out of the pools and they're going to disappear into the woods. They're called mole salamanders because you find them mostly underground if you can find them at all. 
The best time to see them is in the springtime when they come to their pools. And they have to come to the exact pool with where they were born in order to do their little mating ritual. So that's why it's important to not to protect vernal pools so that these critters will always have a, a place to call home. The egg masses will hatch into larval salamanders just like the frog egg masses will hatch into tadpoles. And this guy's warming up. I think it's time to go back to the pool. What do you think, Linda? Well, I we think head so. Them we back should, yep. Where they can ni be, stay nice and cool. So we're back at home pool, the place where we live trap these salamanders. They're going to be released back into their pool so that they can finish up their work here. So while they're being released, I just want to remind you that although you hear that salamanders and frogs, amphibians are globally threatened, they are thriving in these pools in Geog Geauga County. Habitat loss, disease are still a threat here. Make sure that you head out on a warm rainy night, either to the parks or even in your own backyard, and see how many salamanders and frogs you can find heading on their migration in this amphibian awakening time. Make sure you don't miss that adventure this spring. Thanks for joining us.